is going on guys welcome back to the channel if you saw my other video you already know that this car has a lot of issues so which is the best way to fix your car the answer is cleaning it as you can see this is a mess As you already know, this engine bay is a mess. Look at all this dirt and grime and grease. Of course, if you have a brand new car, then the risk you have while cleaning your, your car is very small because all your connections are waterproof. If you have an older car like I do, then you have a risk. So if you decide to go this way and clean your car, uh, it's on your own risk Let's hope that today nothing will happen and after cleaning it my car will start also Let's install the pressure washer So we will first spray it with a wheel cleaner and then we will rinse it with the pressure washer then we'll go with a layer of uh, active foam just like we used when we washed the car and then again rinse it with a pressure washer and then we'll go from there to see if it's needed to do something else let's start <laughs> Active foam, one to one dilution, only cold water, and then a brush. see it's looking much better I'm starting to like this car now <laughs> yeah it's not perfect some stains are let's say harder to get out especially these ones which is grease I'm, I'm not sure what it is but it looks like grease so the solution I used is not uh, strong enough in order to remove those but uh, overall it's it's better I would recommend that you go directly for a engine cleaner instead of using active foam or wheel cleaner it's not that good here it's more or less better I'll try to use some brake cleaner I'm not sure if that will have a good effect also down there there is some dirt still remaining but yeah overall it's looking much better let's uh, try another step have another solution is this in this bottle I'm pretty sure it's not a uh, red line from turtle wax it's something else but yeah let's try <laughs> So 
so it's better, but it's not perfect. I will still try the brake cleaner. Be right back. So this is what I will use. It's also from Lidl. It's really cheap, so I don't have big hopes for it. But let's see if it does something. Okay, so let's give it a moment to dry or at least to let the water drop or rinse. Uh, yeah, it's definitely much better now, it's not perfect. You see there is still some grease in here, but overall it's much better. I will also take the engine cover out so I can clean it better inside, but I will just clean it with a microfiber towel or something. I do not want to get too much water over there. I've seen some cases for at other people. Uh, where the injectors got clogged because I mean stuck uh, into the engine because there were uh, There was water in going inside and then it corroded and they got stuck So I want to avoid this that's why I clean it with the engine cover on Okay, let's check it in a few moments On a second thought, let's see if this car still starts struggled a little but it seems to work now. Let's check it outside. There you have it guys. The engine needs much clearer. I know it's not perfect but it's much better and now I can work on it let's say and not get so dirty. I can also see some possible leaks which maybe were also in the past but I could not just see them because there was too much mess in here and too much grease. So yeah, if you are looking for an answer what can happen, worst case if you clean the engine or if you completely wash it, I cannot answer. I think a lot can happen. But in my case I was just lucky I guess and nothing happened. So I am quite pleased with the result considering also the amount of work I put into this. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.